Jeremy. Jeremy. Lunch. Jeremy, I'm lighting your favorite candle. Jeremy? Jeremy? <sighs> Jeremy? I'm over here. What the hell are you doing hiding in there? I'm not hiding, okay? I'm just super depressed. I feel unfunny. Dude, come on, you know you're funny. Listen, I made some Sloppy Jeremy's out there. Don't patronize me. They're not called Sloppy Jeremy's. They're called Sloppy Joe's. Everybody knows that the both shit is they're Sloppy Joe's. Hey, relax, man. It's a joke, man. You know about jokes. No, I don't. That's the whole thing. Is I lost it. I don't. All right, listen. We've all been there, all right? And I know what to do. We're going to clean up your room because it smells like farts and tears in here. We're going to go have a Sloppy J, fill your belly, and then we're going to help you get your funny back. Come on, let's go. How are we gonna do that? Come on, come on, come on. I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying to yourself, who the hell is this handsome man? He looks like he could be on the movies. Why the hell is he wasting his time dicking around with some sad sack who probably doesn't want his services anyway? Well, truth be told, I could be in the movies. I do have a perfect jawline. But I choose, for a nominal fee, to be here, to try to get your funny back. Now, this is not going to be an easy road. There's going to be some bumps along the way. There might even be some heartache. But if you trust me, then maybe, just maybe, we can find your funny again. Are you with me? That's good enough. Come on, Jerry Red. Basically, you just take your thumb and put it right here like this and just look. Oh my god, that's awesome! Ah, oh, it sucks. I, I can't thank you enough. But today's just been eye-opening. It really has. Thank you. Don't mention it. Now listen, don't ever forget. You are funny. 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 And then I was like, Mom, I'm not letting you use the sledgehammer again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Jeremy, it's so good to see you laughing again, buddy. It is good to be back. I really, I can't thank you enough. And don't forget about this guy. I just wish we could have hung out a little more, you know? Yeah, it's just sort of like he disappeared. Yeah, it was like that. And he was gone. Just hold on a second, baby. I need a new dental dam. This one's worn through. Hey, what are you ding dongs doing? Who's that guy? Oh, that's my buddy Tucker. Jeremy over there was feeling a little bit unfunny, so uh, he helped him get his funny back. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, why is that so hard to believe? Because Jeremy's not funny. He's never been funny. The reason he was feeling unfunny today is because he's always unfunny. <laughs> but that, that's just not true. I mean, tell him, Jer... Jeremy? So what you're saying is... What I'm saying is the greatest trick Jeremy ever pulled was convincing the world that he was funny. Ha, 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 ha.
You are not funny. Funny. You're unfunny. Convince me. Tell me everything. Back when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. You unfunny? Come on. Kobayashi. I'm not hiding. Jeremy. Danny's a big fat guy. I mean, like, work of fat. I mean, Sloppy Jeremy's out there. How do you make the devil laugh? Sloppy Joe. Joe. Jeremy. Smells like parts and tears. It's a joke. What do you know about jokes? Jeremy. Guys, you're so zay. Talk to me. Guys, you're so zay. Because you're stupid, Jeremy. Because you're not funny, funny, funny. After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. The greatest trick Jeremy ever pulled was convincing the world that he was funny. It was like that. He was gone. <laughs>